So, I was only going to do one video a day, but, uh, well, here's number two. Um, got to give a shout out to my boy, James Schulzman. Uh, this, uh, Big Balls McGraw 09. He's, uh, kind of helping promote me. He's the one who really pushed me to, uh, even do this in the first place. So, got to give him a shout out. Uh, also, my man, Robert Rosso, um, if you guys haven't heard of him, uh, look him up right now. It's uh, Convict Inc. on YouTube. Rob and me were great friends inside for about five years, lived in the same unit. Great dude. Uh, I'm trying to emulate what he does, just telling stories, talking into a phone, you know. Um, he was doing a life sentence. And got out on compassionate release. Wonderful success stories down in Arkansas. And I can't wait to uh, meet up with him one day. You know. This side of the fence. But. Uh, yeah. That's just a couple, couple shout outs I had to do. While we're doing random little shout outs here. You know. Got to stay with the Fago. Been a juggalo since I was like 12 years old. So. Still drink the Fago, still, still bump the ICP and Twisted. Uh, so that's a little obscure little stuff about me. But yeah, just wanted to get on here again. Give a shout out to them guys. Shout out to Fago, shout out to ICP. Um, fuck the BOP. The whole system is basically... It's corrupt, but like... In ways you just have to experience, man. The the actual staff that work at the prisons, in my experience, except in Ashland, Kentucky, uh, the staff was pretty decent people for real. They're just, you know, people. It's a job to them. They're just trying to make ends meet. They're just trying to survive life like the rest of us. But uh, Ashland was a different story. Anyway, um, the, from the government, from the top down, the people that actually run the BOP, man, it's about money. They get money for heads and beds. And I got a buddy right now. We're in Terre Haute together. We're at the halfway house together. He uh he went back for a dirty UA. So he's sitting in the St. Clair County Jail, right? But this is how this is a prime example of how it's all about money. They get tax dollars for every head they have in a bed. Uh I don't want to say his name, but I'll say his nickname, my homeboy Smokey, real, real good dude. Um, he is currently at St. St. Clair County Jail, right? But if you look him up on the internet, uh, it says he's at Milan, right? Milan Federal Prison in Michigan. But if you look up the halfway house in Detroit, it says he's there. So they are triple dipping. They are triple dipping on this man's name. I mean, I don't know the figures. I don't know the dollar amounts, but it doesn't matter. That's your tax dollars. That's my tax dollars. Housing one guy at three separate places. Where's that money going? He's not getting it. That's for sure. And it's probably not the staff of them facilities, but some somebody up the chain or down the line, however you want to say it, somebody's getting them that money. Our tax dollars hard at work. It's a shame, but uh, that's the government. Government totally sucks, you motherfucker. Government totally sucks. And while I got on the political tip, uh, yeah, I am a Trump supporter. Surprise, surprise. But uh, my biggest reason for supporting him is he's so anti-establishment. The, the system that was created... 250 plus years ago it wasn't perfect but it was an experiment this american experiment we're living in uh had a pretty good run but over the last 80 years basically since world war ii uh whew, the federal government has become so involved in every minute detail of everybody's lives don't get me started on covid19 and yeah you know that's like that's two or three videos right there. But I just want to give a shout out to my boys. And uh, 
you know, kind of mention how fucked up the whole BOP and the government is, man. It, it's a shame. Our tax dollars hard at work. So, all right, y'all. Good night.